My first impression of walking into Rita's grooming was, oh my god, I thought it was like out of a Stephen King movie, Pet Cemetery. God, this place. It was like a like a sensory overload. You know, I mean, looking around, there's so much clutter around there. I couldn't see who worked there, what was there for sale. I mean, the place is an absolute mess. I mean, it's an eyesore. One of the main goals was to find out exactly what's wrong with the place, what needs to be fixed, and let's move forward and do it. So tell me about the image that you've got. You'd never thought about it before, have you? We're going to brand you. Here is not a brand. When you walk in, it should say, Readers Grooming. I asked them, you know, what's your image? What do you stand for? You know, what's your brand? My first impression when I walked in here was like, what the hell were you thinking? And that's your first problem. When you walk in here, it's got to be inviting. It's like, it's like out of Africa, but out of control. Oh, look at the zebra stripes. That's what? my husband. What do you mean your husband? Your husband's he a zebra. All that. He's, huh? he's a painter. Is he? Sweetie, you should like to give him some more classes. <laughs> or glasses. What's this one? Oh, I mean, look at this. Is that dog hair or dust? Dog hair. Why is there so much dust in here? You've got to take care of the place. You know, when people come in, whether you like it or not, you know, they're going to want to come into a, a, into a clean place. But, but when you work here all the time, you don't see this. That's exactly the point, right? You don't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up your eyes. It could use some work. It's got the jungle theme with a slash of white trash, you know. What's this? <laughs> You're a pet rat, aren't you? My thing is about minimalistic, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's the people and the, and the animals that come in here that should give it the texture and the color mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. All this, 20 years, gone. I think when we start cleaning this place out, Rita is gonna have a heart attack. What is this area we're in here? This is our doggy boutique. <laughs> doggy boutique? Yeah. How long have you had these in here? I mean, this this is, is that, ye is that yellowing because of age or is it or is it supposed to be that color? This is your second problem. We've got to merchandise you better, you know? We've got to people so people can see it. You're walking in, you look in here and you think, wow. What a mess! That's what I think, what a mess! Not what, what great items I have here. I hand-picked all them. Really? Mm -hmm. I think you should take someone else to pick you some stuff. What is this? Oh, my God, there's dog biscuits in here. <laughs> Where do you sell dog biscuits? We don't. You don't sell them? Are you crazy? No. Listen, people, are, they have dogs. They buy biscuits for their dogs. Why wouldn't they buy them in here? Rita must be probably the worst salesperson in the world. She showed me her merchandising area and what she's got in there. She hasn't sold anything, I don't think, for 20 years. Tell me about the outfit. Come on. Look at this. Look at it. What's what going on? How did you come groomer. up with it? I know your dog. You've got to stop thinking dog groomer and thinking glamour puss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what would you like to see yourself in? Something tight. There you go. I agree that you should wear something a little tighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I want to get something a little bit more that's uniform, that, you know, mm -hmm. professional, but flattering and sexy. It's, it's all about branding, right? Your image should be your brand. So it's like we're going to give you a uniform that is going to brand you. That when people walk in here and when they go out, they talk about, oh, yeah, readers. And when they think of readers grooming, they have an image. After I had the talk with Rita, I went into the back room and talked to everybody. The whole goal of that meeting was to find out the things they liked about their business. So you want to make a place that's, you know, like we talked about, an image. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to give it a strong image and a place where people feel they can come and just hang out and be here. What we've got to focus on here is, like, what, what are all the great things about this place? So you've got something special that the competition hasn't, right? right. We specialize here in older dogs. You know, right. we're all CPR certified. We specialize in mean dogs because we will take the time to, to, to groom them, right. to win them over. And they charge extra for the toenails, and our price is one. Everything included, the toes, the bows. I, I'm personal with the customers. I know a lot of their phone numbers by heart. You've got to let your customers know that you're a specialty store that you're not the big chain store, you know? And you've got much more of a personal service. You're much more of a connection with the people. 
I really want to know, like, what's, what, what are the daughters? What are your specific roles um, here? My deal here is to cut the hair. Right. <laughs> That's what I love to do. And I feel like I do my best job. I do it just to help my mom train me. And I love creating something out of nothing. I think I'm the second mommy, maybe, the worrier. Are you, are you, are you mommy's mama? Yeah? But only because I love her. We all are. We yeah. all like We're her. We're very, very, very our life. protective. Yeah. Because she's given up her life for us. Like, we've always come first. This is what I think. I mean, I hear your enthusiasm and passion for this business. What I think is, is that you just need to change your image. Yeah. And I think if you change your image, you're going to change your, your lives. lives. I walked in the shop and I thought I could live here. What do you think? Do you recognize it? Yeah? How about this? It actually smells good in here. <laughs> the sun has finally come to Sun Valley, right? We've got a great pink, vibrant wall. We wanted to add color and bring brightness in here. The wow. black frames go perfectly against that wall. And Rita, look at the back. Look at Rita's name on the back. On the back wall. With the bubbles, because you're bubbly personality. One of the things we wanted to do, Rita, was brand you. When you walk in here, we wanted to know this place was Rita's. I'm so excited about all these clothes and beds. See, the whole idea was to make something that's very simple and clean. Uh -huh. So you can see the product. Right, that's, and you can touch it. That's right. Sit down, see what your new chairs are like. <laughs> Yeah, my ass cheeks are in that sofa. I claimed it. It's mine. I own it. That's where you're going to find me most of the day. You know how we've been talking about letting everyone know what you do? We've created a menu for you that lets everyone know exactly what's going on in here. This is all part of branding Rita. Rita, look, look. There's your dog. The dog that meant so much to Rita. It's about, you know, really taking what they want to heart and me helping transform their place their way with a little bit of Peter color in it. One of the great things about you is because you are such a great family, we wanted to have your extended family here, which are your customers and their animals. Look, it's Sparky Von Schnauzer. And how about dogs always peeing on the plants, right? Right, right. We've made it higher. Even I have problems going on this one, all right? How about this wallpaper that we found? Wow. Wow. This matches your chandelier. It's vintage, but still very modern. That's what I love yeah. about it. And we've got plexiglass over yeah. the wallpaper oh, so the dogs perfect. won't tear it up, yeah. okay? That's, that's a great idea. idea. Fantastic, yeah. huh? Come on, let's go up to the top. This is oh, Tina's favorite spot, that. right? And look, balls for the dog. Yeah. Or you can stuff them sure down Tina's the shirt, part? right? Yeah. So she matches you two. So look, this is serious business, okay? You know, the sales chart. We've got all your names up here and goals to be met. This is how I look at my business. You know, we can upsell our clients coming in. We can sell them more product than dollar sales for services. So wow. you really can make money here. Peter opened up our eyes. I think the whole retail aspect of our business is going to do great. It's just going to make double what we usually do profit-wise. I'm sure of it. Who's going to take the most Me. money? Me. Oh, let's right see here. it. This is what I saw when I very first walked in here. I saw the greatness in all of you. I'm just so proud of... of what I've become in the last four days. So I stepped out of my car, and my first impression of Village Suites was... 
This is an eye candy. This is an eye sore. Monica! 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 I'm over here! <laughs> You're so, where are you? You're so far away, I need binoculars to see you. Let me go around. Wow. The echo, I can hear my voice echoing in there. This is one long place, right? Yes, and it's kind of empty. As I came in the store, I noticed that the display cases were so empty. I came in expecting a candy store, and it just like some old warehouse with no rhyme or reason to the way everything was presented. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Hi. How are you, sweetie? Good. Wow, she looked like a deer in the headlights. I mean, she really looked worried. What is your image? I guess I can say it how a three, six-month-old baby sees it. The babies just draw towards color. I didn't feel that way when I walked in the door, that it was oh. colorful, Monica. Well, that wasn't one of that wasn't a word I would describe. They have absolutely no idea about image. They haven't got a clue about what image is, what to project, how to make this place look, and how to make it better. There's really a lot on the line here. I mean, if I was in their position, I would be really, really worried. I want to see what's going on in here. I want okay. you to give me a tour. I was so it's a little dark. A little dark. I mean, it sort of, it just blends into the background. It doesn't really, like, pop. This doesn't brand you. You know, when, like, when you look at a store, when you look at the exterior of a store, you should think, wow, you know, I can't wait to get in there. The logo, what you've got written on there, it's just very dark and dingy. Not only it isn't inviting, when you look at it, it doesn't tell you anything about what's going on inside. So what happens in here? This is the area that the kids kind of hang out. You'll see kids propped up against the floor here working on their laptops with the first school. Well, where do they sit? Right here. What do you mean? Who wants to sit on the floor, even if it's a kid? We've talked about getting bean bags before, but it just never happened. You got one chair. It's a little bit embarrassing to tell them that I let the kids sit on the floor to do their homework. The area isn't quite as inviting as I'd like it to be. Really, there's nowhere for the kids to hang out, right? Yes, and they do. They still hang out, even though. Wow. If she wants to have a successful place, she's got to have a place where kids can hang out, sit, be comfortable, and spend some money. Looks like a broken piece of old wood. I like it. Oh. <laughs> this here is my fudge case. This is all the fudge you've made. I'm really low on the fudge right now. Usually I have Rocky Road. Because um, there's hardly that. anything. This is like your specialty. There's hardly anything here. They make big margin on this fudge. But it's hidden. I want to taste some of this fudge okay, anyway. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Uh, what is your yeah. biggest seller? The Rocky Road. What if I wanted Rocky Road? Yeah, I, I have to make gone. it today. And you're out of it. Yes, Rocky Road and, wal and chocolate walnuts. And you're out. And see, and... I have, and see, I do have slabs in the back, but because of the way we wow, have it. Wow, this is good. You like? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we make it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's cool. Thanks. But you haven't got any. You haven't got any Rocky Road. When I tasted that fudge, I was like blown away. It's amazing. But no one else knows that. This is saltwater taffy. How does anyone get at it, though? Bolt Where chocolate? did you find these cases? They were given to us. We should give them back, right? Well, yeah, that would be lovely if I could replace them with something different. Yeah, because they're not, you know, like, it doesn't, doesn't make me feel it? like I want to grab it and, like, eat it all, get covered in it, right? Yeah, I wouldn't want to either. I no. Mean, it's not inviting. But aren't you concerned about what's at stake here? You know, like, because yes. you just told me um, you've been open five months yes. and you don't know if you're going to make ends meet. So does that really mean, you know, that you're not going to be in business? Well, yes, it could. It could happen. And lose your investment, we could right? lose our investment because we are barely getting by. So there's a lot of state, Monica, isn't it? It has to work because my parents have put so much of their own right. money into this place. You've got three main problems. The first one is the exterior. I mean, it's so dull. 
I don't even want to look in the window. That really needs to be completely redone. The second one is the interior. I mean, the way you display things here, it's a mess. It needs to be organized better. <laughs> and the third problem, there's no place for the kids to hang out. I mean, you showed me on the floor, Monica. On the floor. Oh, 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 <laughs> what we've done is made a counter here, right? The kids can come and sit here, look out the window, see their friends going by, and then they'll want to come in. It feels much more like, I really want to hang out here now, right? The store used to be very big and sparse, and now it looks so much warmer. I don't want to ever leave. Can I just put a cot in the back? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't have faith at the beginning. I was so nervous. I told you it was going to be good. I, was I told so you. Nervous. Yeah. But I'm now do you see what pop art is? You know, yes. I mean, it's like really, it pops, right? It just pops. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so we've taken care of the first problem, which was the exterior. And now look, a seating uh, area so kids could come and sit. You can uh, sit here now. Give out your fudge. Take, let people taste it. I feel like I want to be a kid and not the owner, so I can just stay here the whole time. <laughs> so now it's got such a great flow to it. And do you know what else? Color. You talked about color. Look how beautiful all the colors are. They We've are. got these barrels yeah. for you I with all your taffy. The problem was before that people couldn't get at it. It was behind glass shelves, so they couldn't pick it up and actually make their own bags. And when they do that, they take more. I can't believe I have barrels pink. Pink barrels. Pink is my favorite color. Now look, we've got all your truffles. Okay. We built this cabinet for you. And look, now the way we've displayed everything. Everything was like really poorly displayed before, which was part of your second problem. And now, you know, it looks so more inviting. And now your cash register is in the middle. We built all this for you. This whole cabinet's all it's been so built. Nice. So now you don't have to walk a mile or catch a cab. <laughs> to the door to get to the cash register like you did before. Exactly. The area before around the cash register was full of clutter. I made it much cleaner and simpler looking. So now we have, you know, your business cards. And now, look, this is your new logo. I love it. Which is your candy apple, which is your specialty. It's all part of branding. You can have a village suite in every village in America. My new logo is a candy apple. It's so classy, it's so elegant. Take a card, come back soon. Here, where all your commercial candy is, what we did was we painted that wall so it gave it some depth to it. So now that, that candy it really pops. pops, you know? And it gives it a nice flow to it now. It really, you've lost that warehouse feeling. Here, we've made another seating area for the kids so they can do their homework. Yes. Yeah. Cece, I want to see your homework. I want to see the math, I want to see all that. Come on, and you'll do it, young lady. But then, see, when you've done your homework, then we'll give you some cat, but only when you've done your homework. And, and another thing what we did in here, because it was so long, you know, we built this wall in here for you, which now you can see the things that make you special are all up on the wall the fudge, all the different flavors, the candy apples. And also, we used a counter that you already had and built that into the wall. And this, wow. this is now your fudge room. Oh, this is a whole geez. room dedicated oh to your God. fudge store. Look at the kettle. So you can... Oh my God, they can watch us make it in a room. Yeah, a room. that, hey, there, <laughs> the light bulb just went off, right? Oh <laughs> Baby. Look Thank you much. My painting's still yeah, there. Your painting's still <laughs> there. Still Your there. mural's still there. I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> when people are into the store coming to buy that old commercial candy and they smell this and see this, do you think they're going to want that? Oh, give me a Monica's candy apple. That's what they're going to ask for. Now, my when I walked inside, I had a sensory overload. I didn't know where to look. There was like a mishmash of clothes everywhere. I mean, there were clothes in boxes, 
I could tell that there was absolutely no merchandising skills whatsoever. Peter? Yeah, I'm Peter Ishkand. Jeff. Jeff, nice, nice to, to meet you. Garage, first of all. <laughs> and I thought it was a garage sale going on. <laughs> because I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, where am I, you know? So how's things going? How's business? 40,000? Yeah. You're kidding me. No, dead serious. And how many of those come in here? Well, uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can't see them at the moment. This place is like mobbed outside. It certainly isn't mobbed inside where it needs to be. These guys need to create an environment where customers want to come in and stay in. This is my favorite section here. Why is that? Because it's got the surfboards. All right. <laughs> is that the thing that makes you the most profit? No. no. <laughs> what makes you the most profit? Clothing. The clothing. The clothing. And accessories. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. I'm getting the picture. Then I looked at the clothes on the racks. The women's clothes and the men's clothes are all mixed together. There's no rhyme or reason. We've had that shirt since opening. Yeah. You've had that shirt since so it's a year and a half you've had that yeah. shirt. Yeah. Was it a different colour when you bought it? <laughs> and it's gone brown? Yeah, it was white. <laughs> My regular customers are <laughs> have kind of stopped coming in so much because everything's the same. So how does anyone find anything in here? Uh, they a usually really big pick, stick. pick through it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's clothes in boxes here. How are you supposed to look at clothes and think, wow, I want to try these on? When you walk in your own store and you see your merchandising like this, how does that make you feel? It I bothers mean, me really bad. Yeah. I think that's one of the major reasons why it's so hard for us to move on to the next level of like marketing our shop and stuff right. because I feel like there's so many loose ends here that how can I go on to the next thing if this, none of this is finished and looks good? Right. I am so tired of looking at all of these flaws that we have in our shop. How much does the average customer spend when they come in? Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to $50. Uh, females definitely spend more. I would say the average female spends $100. Yeah. Easy. Why are you not trying to attract more women if they're the ones with the money? Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good question. Yeah. When the husband and wife Come in, go after the wife. She's the one who's going to spend all the money. Come on, Jeff. What female wants to come into a place that looks like this? It's not pleasing to the eye. These are the dressing room. These are the dressing rooms? Why have you got boxes in there? Um, the shoes, Jeff put the shoes in there. Do and people then... take them, like, when they come yeah, and get changed? Know... Or if anyone wants to go and get changed in there? Those shoes have been in there now for probably a month. Yeah, like, and these curtains, they're a mess. The dressing rooms were a disaster. It doesn't make me want to go in there and, like, wow, try on lots of clothes. Lots of clothes, not just yeah. one item. <laughs> yeah. Lots. So the dressing rooms really need some work. Peter, definitely. Different talk. I outlined three problems. The first, the merchandising looks a mess. I mean, it's all a mishmash. I, I don't know where to find things. There's no organization type skills here. You know, the second problem that you have here, it's not women friendly. What well, woman wants to come in here? You told me women spend more than men, so we have to make this place more inviting for women. And the third problem, you're two miles from the beach. So we need to make your store a lifestyle destination where people want to come in and hang out. Your competition yeah. is having events. They're bringing people in. We want to bring those people in here. I do agree that there are some improvements to be made, but I'm still curious about what Peter has planned. We moved all the women's clothing to the front, so now when women pass by, they can see that, yeah, this is a surf boutique. I think this looks amazing. Like, I can't picture a woman not wanting to come in here and buy stuff. It's so organized, and you can find stuff by color, and it, it looks so good. A big problem was those dressing rooms. They were disgusting. Oh my God, look at that. So we completely reorganized those changing rooms. Oh, oh my God. Oh oh. No boxes. <laughs> you I can walk in and get changed easily. <laughs> Do you think now it's more female friendly so to go in there, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole nother world. Yeah. It, I mean, like, they look bigger. It looks bigger because you've got no boxes in there. <laughs> yeah. That's why. This just screams Baja Beach. It's so... It screams crazy. what? 
Baja Beach. Baja Beach, yeah. The dressing rooms are so cool. I'm sure our customers will enjoy trying stuff on a lot more. So let's go check out our new destination lounge. All right. And the third problem was that they had nowhere to hang. Take a seat oh, in your wow. new lounge. Come on. I love the lounge area. This is like a beach house. Right. This is so neat. Everything that you guys did is just so amazing. This blows me away. Like, I could have never imagined the things that you did. I can imagine me sitting with a customer, showing them different items. I can't wait to use it. Oh, oh my wow. god. Stunning graffiti. And the great thing about this is that when you do the events and sign-ins in here, when people take photographs, uh -huh. that will be in the background, that Rider is Shack, so cool. which will help brand you. Yeah. This makeup. Now, it's all about the third problem, right? Creating a buzz. I want to take you on a tour because I want you to discover your own neighborhood. You know, when I was driving here, I saw a lot of great stores. I saw a lot of buzz going on in a lot of stores around here. I mean, these guys are doing something right, right? Right. So let's find out what they're doing. All right. Peter told us that he was gonna take us on a field trip. I'm actually very excited to see what's gonna happen. Look at this neighborhood. It's really alive around here. And you can be part of that. Do you notice something about all these stores that I'm pointing out? They're very well lit up. They're well lit, exactly. And you can see in. And that's what we want to create in the beauty box. And usually I just go straight home. So it was nice to just go see, you know, what is new in the area. And it was a real eye-opener for me. Look at what it says on there. Nail spa, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, let people know what's going on there. It, it sparks my interest. That's what we want to create with your place, something that people look in and they're like, oh, I want to go in there and see those girls. Right. And I tell you what, when I finished with you tomorrow, making you over, they're definitely going to be wanting to come in there. <laughs> so this is a great place. You know, but they do something very interesting. Every month, they have a party. So they're actually getting new customers all the time. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think it sounds like a good idea. It sounds yeah. like a great idea. Yeah. When they went out, I think they really got inspired by what they saw and the possibilities for their own business. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no question now when you look at the top Rocky Roaster, you know this is a coffee house, right? Look at the coffee in-house roasting, it brands you. Everyone thought it was a chicken store before, right? There's no There's question no what it is now. I'm starting to feel a theme. We see, <laughs> but that's all what it's about. Absolutely. You can see what your image is now. Yeah. I love that. Their problem was no one had a clue that there was a gourmet coffee experience just waiting for them. There's such a professional appearance to the outside of the store that now we absolutely have to carry that through every other piece of the business. All the decal on the window was done by wonderful graffiti. They are one of the top graphic design companies in the country. Remember what we did out here with those old planters? Yeah. Well, look at the planters now and here. Oh, these are great. It's amazing, and the plants outside are alive. So we've taken care of problem number one, the exterior, right? Yeah. So come on, let's see inside. Yes. Come on! I can't wait to take them inside. I've got so many surprises for them. This has been such a great event so far. and The shop is amazing. It has a whole new style. Can't wait to get inside to see the rest of it. Come on, get in there! Come on! This is not what we left. Huh? This is unbelievable. Could you ever imagine it could be this good? This oh is God. beyond what I was thinking. Yeah, Peter, so it is cool. So Peter. beautiful. It's warm, which is what we were trying for, but had missed the mark on. You totally got it. Yeah. The shop looks amazing. Peter met all of our desires. The place is just wonderful. When I saw the colors, the warmth, the professionalism that emanated from the room, I was so excited. And remember, the cupping room is in the wrong place. Right. It should be out here, where people can see your passion. They can experience the beam like I did. 
You have changed my whole coffee experience. And this is where it will happen. Man. Give me a spoon. Oh, get a seat. Get Come a on, see what get it's like. Spoon. Have a, a sit spoon. down. Rocky kept his cupping experience in a shabby back room. Now we've brought that experience right up front for everyone to see. Back there, we can, uh, we're stuck. We can do two people. Yeah. That, that's it. Here, bring your whole staff. Bring your whole barista staff. Come on and sit yeah. down. Let's talk about the coffee or just our customers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all about creating a community, and that's what you do. This table is a community table where, you know, customers will get to meet each other. Th your whole business will get better, that, that people will want to buy beans. Absolutely. If I could have conceptualized of the perfect place, it would have been a gathering place for people to come and celebrate the coffee bean. This is awesome. Remember the country kitchen catastrophe, yeah, it's gone. It's right? Gone. Now you have a gourmet coffee experience going on in here. Look, we have coffee on display so people can actually buy it, right? Remember that? We were going to put beans on there so people can buy it. Gourmet to go. <laughs> yeah? yeah. But the great thing about it is they're just props because I know it was a problem, the freshness, That's right? right. That's so right. what you can do, Tara, is when people come in and pick up those beans, you can say, let me get you they some fresh. The bags of beans as props is the perfect marriage of what Kim wanted, marketing, being able to tell people and explain to them, hey, we sell beans, and my need to not sell a bean over the counter older than three days. Now it's got a flow to it. You know, oh. you're, you're not bumping into old grandma's cabinet anymore. You're buying your coffee, you're taking a mug home. Then you go to the hutch where we have all the condiments on. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and all this furniture is from Crate and Barrel. You see, now you've got a place like this, I mean, it's gonna draw people in and you'll sell more beans. I think this new image that Rocky Roaster has will completely explode their sales because people will want to come in here.